Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time watching, welcome to my internet personality. For today's video, Nina and I got pliables, and I'm gonna be answering some of her questions about college, maybe WashU in specific, I don't know. I'm Nina, and I'm a junior in high school, and I'm Maya's sister. Cool. So since she's gonna be applying to colleges soon, I thought I would answer her questions on the internet in oh so that we can look back on this in a little bit and also if anyone watching needs advice i don't know if this is the best place to go for advice mm -hmm. but it might be just fun to watch just fun fresh entertaining fun. And join us this is not sponsored by pliables i wish it was i used to work there look how beautiful oh, it's really good wow oh yeah do we want want to say our orders so i got a banana base with granola pineapple and strawberries and nutella um i got a nutella bowl but with peanut butter and it's really good i missed it a lot it's like a little bit too cold to be eating this but but we got the heat blasting yeah so yummy so Wait, how long did it take you to write all your essays because i write essays like really slowly mm. oh. really slowly I started prepping like my common app or just thinking about essays and stuff in over the summer before senior year and then I wrote all of them like at the end of the summer and in the fall and revised a bunch of them. I actually ended up writing all the essays for all 11 schools even though I didn't send so them I can use because I of wanted them. to no time. Look at you being productive. How awkward were you when you first met people? Mm. <laughs> like everybody's pretty awkward. I was very eager to meet people, so I mean, I didn't go you to just everybody. Up to people. <laughs> In the very few, first few days of school, no one will like think it's weird if you just come up to them and ask them like about themselves mm -hmm. because everyone's trying to make friends. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, it starts to get weirder as you get into school. So I <laughs> imagine say, like you, right now, if you want to meet a lot of people. Yeah, that would be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not mean. Like no one's gonna. Think. They're just gonna think you're weird. Uh, I don't even know. They might just think you're really friendly. But yeah. You can like... I wouldn't think it's weird. Okay. Yeah. And then I would stay away from her, guys. Do like, you have any SoundCloud rappers in your school? Probably. I don't listen to them. <laughs> I don't see people post about it either. Though. Wait, I didn't even answer the question, did I? No. What was the question? Um, you don't hear me chewing. How's your sports life? <laughs> <laughs> At my school? Yeah. There's a very limited sports life. Well, not sports life. I don't know why you're referring to it that. But it's D3. Um, don't you play basketball in the basketball court? Me? Mm -hmm. I was outside, not like the actual basketball <laughs> court. But it's D3, so I mean, sports are still like, I wouldn't say big deal, but like, okay, how it's do I It's not like this? a big deal. Not a lot school. of people. I went to the for like one of the first football games and there were less people there than were at my high school game. Um, so there's not a ton of school spirit with sports, but that's, like our sports teams are still pretty good, I think. I have a couple friends who are on sports teams and it like seems like a lot of fun if you like playing sports. What sport would you join? Not one that you've done if, I had if you to. had to. Like football. Oh. You could be a kicker. I mean, I'm already basically on the track team, so <laughs> might as well shot put or something. You can't run though. Yeah, that's why I said shot put. Mm. Yeah, you don't need to I run. I can't really jump either, so. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. You um, laughed the same. Ew! I don't want to hey, laugh let me like see you. you. I have a good laugh. Chill. Tell me your best and worst food experience at Washington. Mm. In the cafeteria. In BD, right? That's what's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of good food mm -hmm. at WashU. Well, best I like really like not at BD, but at the other places. Like I used to go to Law Cafe, mm -hmm. and now it's closed for non-law students. But they make wraps, and we would wait in line for like thirty to forty-five minutes during our lunch to get a wrap. I'd say it was worth it, and I miss that a lot. What did you put your wrap order? No one cares. <laughs> it was like olive hummus. Okay, already cheese. disgusting with olives. It was really good. Well, like Washu has oh, some of the best food. They have okay. So on Tuesdays at BD um, for dinner they have Tika Tuesdays 
chicken tikka masala. It's not very authentic Indian food, which is fine because I don't expect it to be, but the <laughs> naan that they serve with it is really good. But it's really funny because people refer to it, like people that I guess don't know refer to it as Tiki Tuesday, <laughs> like as in a Tiki torch. But that's not a, the bad part of the food experience, it's just a side note. They have like t a tofu version and I don't know why, but I got it Ew! once. I don't even like tofu. It's and, disgusting. Yeah, not fair. But also my friends like it, so can't slander it. For my advice, like for talking about my college, do you think I should join a sorority? So right now, thinking about it, I don't want to. Good question, Nina. I personally it's a big brain did not, energy. Okay. <laughs> I personally did not rush a sorority. And at Washu specifically, there over the summer was a movement to abolish Greek life. Is it actually happening? That's, I don't know. But personally, I never felt that it was right for me because um, I already was lucky enough to have a group of friends. I didn't feel like, I mean, I wanted to meet new people, but I didn't feel like that was the avenue to do so. I think Greek life in general has a history of classism, sexism, and racism. And even if the like individual chapters or the people in it do not all fit that mold, I don't really want to be associated with something like that. So yeah, I'm fine without being in one and I don't necessarily think that you need to join one wherever you go to school. Hmm. Mm, brain freeze. Tell me about your worst party experience at West Show. Oh. Worst experience, like where you're like, I want to go home type energy. A bad experience was when there was a party at the very beginning of the year and it was like all the freshman girls were going and it's already cringy yeah it was it was cringy and it was so claustrophobic like you literally couldn't move you couldn't like you couldn't just move like, anywhere you're just like waiting mm. for pe the flow of people it was disgusting like now in the sweaty bodies now that we're in COVID, like there was That's no gross. dancing no nothing it was literally just standing in the house like trying to move but you couldn't i'm too late. I feel like it's more it's fun more when you're fun. just like with a mm -hmm. group of friends, right? Exactly. I feel like a party is just... I mean, parties it's, are fun. Oh, it's overhyped. When you can go. There will be time to party again. Please stay home. Oh. It's oh, so oh, cold. Oh, O'Reilly. Oh, Auto parts. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Have they changed from boys to men in college? <laughs> Short answer, no. No. <laughs> Do you like being in the Midwest? Mm. Like oh God, my what? I'm like sick. Oh my god, you still have so nothing left. Okay. I did not expect by any means to end up in the Midwest. I applied to mostly East Coast schools. Um, I think like two in the Midwest. I don't know. I just really liked Washu's campus and like everything about it. So that's why I applied ED there. I didn't think I would end up in the Midwest, but I'm in freaking Missouri. So yes, sir. I mean, Missouri as a whole, not really the ideal place for me. I like St. Louis. I like the, like how people are nicer in the Midwest. I like the food uh -huh. and yeah, I think it's different because everyone I'm friends with is from around the country. So yeah. Okay. Let's talk about competitive culture. Our high school is way more competitive than I think Wash U is. <laughs> Our high school is kind of Why? competitive to the point that it's toxic. I think Washu is pretty collaborative. Like, I never feel like someone's trying to use me for homework or something, or that someone's trying to do better than me on an exam. It's like people are helping each other study, helping they each other. They want to help you. With their notes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. What is oh one regret that you have from freshman year? No regrets, baby. Oh, you have to have one. Oh, uh, I know. I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> now that. COVID is a thing and we can't go out or do anything. I wish that I did go, like I didn't, I'm not like a party animal, but I wish party. I went out a couple more times. There were only like a couple occasions where I didn't go out with them because I just like was tired or I wanted to stay home, but I wish I did that and took advantage of that more. But I think that would have changed if like, if this year I also got to do those kinds of things, it would be a little bit different. But because I can't, that's what I regret. Dust. Within a 10 mile radius of where you lived freshman year and sophomore year, name your top five restaurants. My favorite restaurant in all St. Louis that I've tried is Olio. Okay, really good. One. Um, I don't know how many miles away that is. I like. No, mm, that was just for exact, like, from. Duh, I love Mission Taco on the Loop. There's a lot of good food on the Loop. Um, 
take notes guys Here. oh we got um ethiopian food this year that From was where? not close to us it's like in downtown st louis there's only like yeah, three counts. places so Whatever. i don't know you eat a lot of food we Come do on. <laughs> but I got like Panera. What about <laughs> Panera? Okay. No, Panera's not one of them. No, wait. What about that place that oh, you got yeah. Indian food from? Oh, yeah. House of India is good. No, th the other one. Oh, turmeric's good that too. That one. Um, so that's for. I don't know. All the food in St. Louis has been good. I haven't had any negative experiences. They don't have great pizza or bagels. So that's a bummer. But Bring you're not on the East bar. Coast. What are some, some uh, song artists? that you learned from from your friends. What the <laughs> fuck? I meant about college. <laughs> Is it true? People always say that like after high school you can rebuild a new image of yourself and bring it to you to college. Is that true? Yeah, you can reinvent yourself however you want. I would just say Did you reinvent don't... yourself? Are yeah. you fake right now? No, what I was just about to say is don't reinvent yourself to the point that you're not who you are anymore just to be the best ver the version of yourself that you want to be so it matters not what you've done but what you do with what you've done for others everybody says stay true to yourself stay true to your colors it's true what <laughs> <laughs> stay true, true to the colors to the of colors. the rainbow for example in high school i had kind of the same friends since middle school and i mean i like branched out and made new friends sometimes but what i wish i had done is because i like was only friends with that one group i didn't really branch out but because there's so many new people in college i really made an effort to throw myself into a lot of things like activities and stuff and just um always make an effort to hang out with new people and that really paid off i don't regret that so in that sense i would say i was more like i put myself out there more which is who i am like does that make sense you are who you are i think that's a good end to the video <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Look at this soup. I don't know if any of this helped you. If it did, that's awesome. If it's just us watching this, that's also it's awesome. It's okay for the men. For it's the men. For the pliables. Um, yeah, live, love. Live, love, life. No, no. Go like that. We live, love, pliables. Cheese.